Trump. And I'm in many ways very like Mr. Trump. <laughs> there's, a, there's one major difference. He knows what he owns. And you know, there are a lot of things I don't even know. I could own this network, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it's just possible. I, though I don't think the BBC could be privately owned. But I think it, it's a point that Mr. Trump is making, even if I may call you Donald. Absolutely. Um, thank you. Thank you for asking me if I can call you Donald. But I, <laughs> I, I do think love comes into it, and I don't think that's a word that's much banded about, but I think if you are really enjoying your job, love is involved. The point I'm trying to make is that once you're involved in something where you are achieving, then love comes into it. And the money is just a bonus. The money is a bonus. To me, it is. If I was out there, I'm a famous actress, by the way. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> if, if it was just for the money, I think the public would smell it. I think they would. And I think greed is a very disfiguring thing. And I've seen greedy rich people and rich people who are not necessarily victims of that horrible, disfiguring vice. I really believe, just as in your business or anybody's business, I really believe that people are born with an ability. <laughs> is there a chance that your husband will, will leave the business arena and move into the political arena? Thank you, Don. Well, I have been asked this question many times. Go on. It's a, it's, now it is a still speculation, but you never know. Who's you, made a, you made a political statement recently. You, you publicized your political views, didn't you? Well, I hate to see what's happening to the United States. It's a great country, and I can't say the greatest country because I'll be in big trouble in this, but this is a great country. Don't forget Australia, Pastor. You're right. Oh, great country. <laughs> but the United States is being taken advantage of in so many other countries. I mean, it's really a shame, and I see what's happening in terms of our leadership, and they're just being outplayed and outsmarted by every country. Yeah. Every country, and it's it's just one of those things. This I, I have to say, Donald, you can't be anywhere that the dame hasn't been. She's... Oh, world renowned. Well, yes, of course. A lot of people, now I just said that because yes. a lot of people think he lives in Harrods, but he doesn't. <laughs> you have never put yourself on the line and you are a lead. Women, women would look to you for leadership. And I men. know, I would. I think I'd be very successful in the political field, but looking at this gorgeous woman, I'm thinking to myself, because I'm a little bit psychic, darling, and I'm thinking, a first lady, yes, your first lady material would be the first first lady who didn't look like all the others, wouldn't you? Really? <laughs> Great to have you. I'm delighted to meet you and, and, you. and Ivana, and I know Dave. Please stay with us. The book, by the way, is wonderful. It's very entertaining. Yes, it is. And it's got lovely photographs of these adorable young people. And I love the one of you standing there caressing your skyscraper. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a bit raunchy, as a matter of fact. <laughs>